natural resources, minerals, energy, plants and wildlife. The economic development of a country largely depends upon its capacity to use and convert its natural resources into useful goods. Minerals and power resources are important natural resources which provide the basis for industrial development of a country. The natural growth of all types of plant life is termed as natural vegetation. The vegetation of different parts of the world is affected by the amount of sunlight and the amount of rainfall. Study at a glance Mineral resources Energy resources, plant and wildlife resources, forest types and wildlife resources. Mineral resources. In our own surroundings, we can find many mineral products like utensil, nails, wires, machines, jewellery and television. All these have been made of some kind of mineral. What are minerals? Minerals are the natural substances having definite chemical composition and physical properties. Color and hardness are examples of physical properties like coal is black or brown, quartz may be red, black, pink or purple. Similarly, a mineral may be as soft as a talc and can be as hard as a diamond. Solubility is a chemical property of minerals. Example, salt is soluble while quartz is insoluble. Classification of minerals here, we will study the classification of minerals based on its physical and chemical characteristics, use and origin. They are metallic and non-metallic minerals. Metallic minerals Metallic minerals are those minerals which have metals. Example, iron ore, cobalt, Chromite, gold, silver, etc. Non-metallic minerals Non-metallic minerals are those minerals which do not have metals. Example, limestone, nitrate, potash, dolomite, mica, gypsum, coal, petroleum, etc. Now, we will study metallic and non-metallic minerals in detail by examining its differences. Metallic minerals have luster. Non-metallic minerals are dull in luster. Metallic minerals are mostly associated with igneous and metamorphic rocks. Example, iron ore, copper, zinc, bauxite, lead, silver, gold, etc. Non-metallic minerals are mostly associated with sedimentary or metamorphic rocks. Example, granite, coal, sulphur, petroleum, salt, etc. Metallic minerals are ductile. Non-metallic minerals are not ductile. Thin wires can be drawn out of metallic minerals. Wires cannot be drawn out of non-metallic minerals. They break into pieces if any hard substance is struck against them. Metallic minerals are generally solid and heavy. Non-metallic minerals are neither solid nor heavy. Some of them are found in the liquid 
as well as gaseous state also. Do you know metallic minerals can be subdivided into two categories? Ferrous and non-ferrous minerals. Ferrous minerals are iron-based minerals. Example, iron ore, manganese ore, chronite, physite, tungsten, nickel, cobalt. Non-ferrous minerals contain metals other than iron. Example, gold, silver, copper, lead, bauxite, tin. What is an ore? An ore is the natural accumulation of metals or valuable minerals in a concentrated form along with several impurities. Example, aluminium is a metal which is derived from its ore, bauxite. Metals are obtained in their pure form after separating them from their ores. The process of separating of minerals from their ores by the use of heat is called smelting. How are the minerals dug out from the earth's surface? Through the process of mining, minerals are extracted from the earth's surface. In other words, extracting commercially valuable minerals from the earth is called mining. A mine is an excavation in the ground for digging out minerals. It may be a deep underground mine or close to the surface. Surface mine or open pit mines are generally called a quarry. Usefulness of a metal is sometimes enhanced by combining it with other metals. This new material is called an alloy. Copper is made stronger by adding tin and this alloy is called bronze. Similarly, iron is mixed with different metals such as manganese, nickel and chromium to prepare different alloys. Distribution of minerals. Do you know where these minerals are found? Minerals are found on the earth's surface which is closely associated with the type of rocks and the underlying structure of a region. Many important minerals are found as ores in the form of narrow veins in igneous or metamorphic rocks like gold, silver, etc. Certain minerals like gold and diamond may occur as alluvial deposits in the sands and gravels of river beds. Weathered and eroded rock particles containing the minerals are removed and carried by rivers which get deposited in the river beds. These are called placer deposits. Important minerals and their distribution. Do you know which are the important minerals used in a large number of industries? Iron ore, copper and bauxite are used in a large number of industries. Iron. It is the most widely used metal. It is taken as the symbol of modern civilization. It is used for making machine tools, machines, various means of transport, etc. There are different types of iron ores. Example, hematite and magnetite. Location, world, Ukraine, Kazakhstan, USA, China, India, Brazil, France, Germany, South Africa, etc. In India, Jharkhand, Orissa, Chhattisgarh, 
and Madhya Pradesh. Copper. It is used largely in electrical industries because of its quality of electrical conductivity. Location. World. Chile. USA. Canada. Poland. Russia. Georgia. Armenia. Congo. And Zambia. In India, Jharkhand and Rajasthan. Bauxite. It is an ore from which aluminium is extracted. It is used for making aeroplanes, machine tools, utensils, packaging, construction, and electrical materials. Location World, Australia, Guinea, Jamaica, and Brazil. Recycling means using discarded materials once again. Metals like aluminium can be recycled easily. Example, recycling of discarded aluminium beverage cans by reprocessing into new aluminium products. Extraction of minerals. Minerals can be extracted by mining, drilling or quarrying. The process of taking out minerals from rocks buried under the earth's surface is called mining. Minerals that lie at shallow depths are taken out by removing the surface layer. This is known as open cast mining. Deep bores called shafts have to be made to reach mineral deposits that lie at great depths. This is called shaft mining. Petroleum and natural gas occur far below the earth's surface. Deep wells are bored to take them out. This is called drilling. Minerals that lie near the surface are simply dug out by the process known as quarrying. Uses of minerals Minerals are used in many industries. Minerals which are used for gems are usually hard. These are then set in various styles for jewellery. Copper is another metal used in everything from coins to pipes. Silicon used in the computer industry is obtained from quartz. Aluminium obtained from its ore bauxite is used in automobiles and airplanes bottling industry, buildings and even in kitchen cookware. Conservation of Minerals Minerals are a non-renewable resource. It takes thousands of years for the formation and concentration of minerals. The rate of formation is much smaller than the rate at which the humans consume these minerals. It is necessary to reduce wastage in the process of mining. Recycling of metals is another way in which the mineral resources can be conserved. Energy resources. Energy is the capacity to do work. Do you know how we can obtain energy? We can obtain energy in three basic ways. One, direct heating such as by fire, the sun, and natural hot spring. 2. Electricity, which is produced from more direct sources, such as by burning fossil fuels. And 3. Stored energy in the form of a battery. Which are the sources through which electricity is produced? Electricity is produced from large power plants. Thermal or heat plants burn coal or natural gas. Nuclear plants use nuclear fuel such as uranium, thorium, etc. Hydroelectric power plants use the force of falling water. Besides these large power plants, there are smaller power plants using geothermal sources, solar sources and wind source. Do you know how electricity is transmitted to far off places? 
electricity thus produced is transmitted through a network of power lines called a grid to far off places and reaches houses, shops and factories. Sources of energy resources What is the difference between conventional and non-conventional sources of energy. Conventional sources of energy. They have been in use from time immemorial. They, except water, are exhaustible. They cause pollution when used as they emit smoke and ash. Power generated from these resources is very expensive to be maintained, stored and transmitted as it is carried over large distances through transmission grid and lines. Examples Coal, Mineral Oil, Natural Gas, Atomic Minerals, Water, etc. Non-conventional sources of energy they have been identified in the recent past. They are inexhaustible. They do not cause pollution. Small amount of finance is required for their use in generation of power. Examples Geothermal energy, solar energy, wind energy and energy from urban wastes, biomass. Electricity. Do you know from where we get electricity? We all get electricity through different sources. In India, electricity comes from three sources. Water, mineral fuels and atomic minerals. Apart from these sources, there are alternative sources of energy. They are Geothermal, wind energy, solar energy, nuclear energy and tidal energy. Now we will study these sources of energy in detail. Hydroelectricity. Hydroelectricity is obtained by running water which drives turbines. The force of falling water which is used for generating electricity is called hydroelectricity. Major hydro power projects commonly known as river valley or multi power projects in the world are located in the countries like Sweden, Norway, Switzerland, Canada and the USA. Major river valley projects in India are Bhakra Nangal, Damodar Valley Corporation, which produce hydroelectricity. Solar Energy Sun is the most inexhaustible and abundant source of energy in the world. Energy received upon the earth from the sun is termed as solar energy. Now we can list out some uses of solar energy in India. India being a tropical country has been able to use solar energy in cooking, water heating, water desalination, space heating and crop drying. How is electricity generated through sunlight? Solar energy can be trapped using solar collectors which can heat water. Photovoltaic cells convert sunlight directly into electricity. The largest solar power plant of India is located at Madhapur near Bhuj in Gujarat. Solar plants are located in the states of Andhra Pradesh, Gujarat, Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh and Kerala. Wind energy. Wind power is used in pumping water, moving windmills, irrigating farms and generating electricity. The largest wind power farm cluster 
is located from Nagarkoil to Madurai in Tamil Nadu. Other states like Rajasthan, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Gujarat, Kerala, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra and Lakshadweep are better placed from the point of view of wind energy. In the world, the wind power plants are located in Netherlands in Europe, the coastal region of northeastern USA and southern California. Nuclear Power Nuclear power is obtained from energy stored in the nuclei of atoms of naturally occurring radioactive elements like uranium and thorium. These fuels undergo nuclear fission in nuclear reactors and emit power. The greatest producers of nuclear power are USA and Europe. The nuclear power stations in India are located in Kalpagam in Tamil Nadu, Tarapur in Maharashtra, Rana Pratap Sagar near Kota in Rajasthan, Narora in Uttar Pradesh and Kaiga in Karnataka. Geothermal Energy Now, let us understand how geothermal energy is produced. Heat from the interior of the earth is used to produce geothermal energy. Earth grows progressively hotter with increase in depth. With high geothermal gradient, high temperatures are found at shallow depths. Groundwater gets hot with the contact of hot rocks. It is so hot that when it rises, it is in the form of steam. This steam is used to turn turbines to produce energy. Two projects have been set up in India on an experimental basis for generating geothermal energy. One in Parvati Valley near Manikaran in Himachal Pradesh. Another plant in Puga Valley, Ladakh. Natural internal heat is now being used to generate electricity in Russia, Japan, New Zealand, Iceland, Mexico and Hawaii and California in the USA. Tidal energy. Energy generated from tides is called tidal energy. Tidal energy can be harnessed by building dams at narrow openings of the sea. During high tide, the energy of the tides is used to turn the turbine installed in the dam to produce electricity. Biogas, organic waste such as dead plant and animal material, animal dung and kitchen waste can be converted into a gaseous fuel called biogas. The organic waste is decomposed by bacteria in biogas digesters to emit biogas, which is essentially a mixture of methane and carbon dioxide. Biogas is an excellent fuel for cooking and lighting and produces huge amount of organic manure each year.